Good morning, folks. The megaplasma filament remains on the incoming southeastern quadrant of the Earth-facing disk. She poses an eruptive threat as of now. We're starting with the latest from Hubble. Head over and check out their article for the latest clues that the ultraviolet wavelength is offered about star formation. We're looking at the planets. The current near alignment with the inner planets is only half the story. Within a few days, we will enter the geocentric opposition of Saturn and Venus on opposite sides of Earth, and at the same time, we will see Saturn heliocentrically conjoined Mars. NASA's Earth Observatory featuring one of their global maps. You can check out any of these anytime. They have a fairly broad scope. You can set the times and run animations of your choosing as well. NOAA's greenhouse gas report is out describing the current state of emergency with the human-induced climate disaster. They were also kind enough to toss in the equations that resulted in 20 years of failed warming projections and which have inexplicably not been changed at all in the wake. Back on the ground, we're in Switzerland where a major radium find at a yard is causing concern. Three hours of exposure to this exceeds one's yearly radiation allotment, and it appears the bigger news here is that the government knew about it for a while and just didn't want to cause a panic. Let's hope they didn't cause anything else. Earth orbiting satellites caught no more big flares, but a significant CME did erupt from behind the southeastern limb. Tropical low number two is now Tropical Storm Boris, already drenching Mexico all the way up to Florida. And then some. The shear can be seen arching over Florida and then curling back east and then north to enter the Atlantic low. This makes this line thousands of miles long if straightened. Top storm watches today fall to Europe and the US. The central areas like France will join in the bad weather to match the eastern line we've seen for days. Let's look back on the rough night in the states. More than 10 tornadoes reported and hundreds of accounts of serious hail and wind damage. Anyone think we're out of the woods? think again. Luckily, as the system shifts east, it will be the leading and far trailing convergence lines that have the worst weather, but that still puts tens of millions of people under a major warning for this evening. Quick polar vortex update. We are nearing summertime in the north and the vortex is approaching its weakest phase of the year. The southern vortex approaching maximum force as the southern winter approaches. Solar wind, slightly elevated from the weak sauce we've seen, but still not significant space weather. Our magnetic shield is doing just fine with the stream, a slight increase in intensity visible only to the sensitive flux. Oddly, Earth is still magnetically connected to the star at the southern coronal hole. Meanwhile, the sunspots have been pretty disappointing. The central region is the only one not by himself, and the magnetic homogeneity here is not going to be proliferative to bigger flaring. Need that red negative developing. Since the M flare yesterday, the negative umbras appear to have faded, and with this weakening of spots, we've taken no more big flares. The primary space weather watches are the filament and the coronal hole ahead of it. Looks like the northern extension may share an area with part of this massive filament. Got some medium power. Current conditions and shots of our star to close. We're under storm watch and a solar eruption watch today. Eyes open. No fear at 6.30 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.